Hello everybody! In the previous video, we have explored what MidJourney is and how to use it. We learned how to create proper and quality prompts and experimented with methods of prompt generation for beginners or just lazy users. We discovered meanings of various commands and how they affect the quality of the final image, found our way through prompt styles and learned lots of useful information about this neural network. And in today's video, I'll show you a few services which are alternatives to MidJourney, they have already attracted certain audience and whose popular popularity is quickly growing. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Let's begin with Creator Night Cafe Studio. Creator Night Cafe Studio has a nice and light interface. It offers those in font settings and easy prompt generation options. Add your prompt and wait for the result. Here you are, the picture's ready. You could notice that image quality is not so good if compared with other services. However, this resource has a free version. Even though its functionality is somewhat limited, you can still create an image which is not too complicated and do it quickly when the time is pressing. Pick Finder AI. Follow the link I have posted below this video to access the main page of PicFinder website. Registration is optional, so you can use this service without creating an account. Add the prompt you have prepared in advance and click on this button. PicFinder generates several images and you can choose the best one. If you scroll down, it will generate more and more pictures until you find the one you need. It's quite convenient, I should admit. For a free resource, PicFinder is pretty good, and the images it creates have nice quality. However, you need to write a more detailed prompt to get exactly the kind of picture that you want. Another alternative is Mage Space. Click on View Options to see how you can use it. Mage Space has both commercial plans and free access opportunities. As you can see, there are some image settings such as generation model, aspect ratio, and generation steps. The more steps, the higher quality you get. Select your settings and add the prompt from the previous example. Click Enter. The picture is being generated. And here we go. By clicking Rerun, you can generate another image with the same prompt. As you can see, Match Space doesn't always create an image of desirable quality, but it understands the prompt quite well. You can also create an unlimited number of images. However, if you want to get a better quality or a more detailed picture, you have to buy a subscription. Now, let's explore another resource. Another alternative to MidJourney is Lexica. For starters, sign in with Google. Click on the Generate tab and paste the prompt you have used with other services. You can adjust the aspect ratio setting here. Let's 
Lexica generates a few pictures for you to choose from. As you can see, the image quality is quite high. Choose the one you like best. Lexica handles this task very well, but the number of regenerations is only limited to 100 pictures. The quality of generated images is pretty high. The last neural network I'm going to show you is Blue Willow. It's very similar to Midjourney and it also requires this code. Find the link below this video. Click on the link to Blue Willow and hit the button Join the Free Beta. You'll be redirected to Discord. Join Blue Willow. And choose one of the rookie rooms. It may have any number. In the chat, type the command Imagine and your prompt and press Enter. The picture is being generated. And you can see the service has generated four pictures. Choose the one you like best and enjoy the result. Blue Willow looks very identical to Midjourney. The same functionality and even the same image generation commands. But unlike Midjourney, this resource is absolutely free. Summing up, we have explored several alternative services for AI-based image generation. Although all of them are free, each service understands your prompt in its own way. That is why the image quality is also different. By contrast with these services, Midjourney takes your money but provides more detailed images in exchange. Also, you should notice that the image generation services we have seen today do have a free version, but you can unleash all of their potential only after you buy a subscription. That is, their free versions are no match for mid-journey, but you can easily use them to create simple images without paying anything. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Subscribe to Hackman Software channel and hit the like button. Good luck and see you again in our next video.